right, guys, here we go. We're gonna try this again. See if this damn axon will do right. Chain's been falling off like crazy. I don't know, maybe it's like, maybe it's just trying to send me a sign or something. Ah. Ah. God. Oh, unexpected, man. Golly, damn flat. Oh, my hands. I guess I hit too hard up there, got a flat. And I just landed on the rocks, like the most worst spot. Most worst. Damn, look at this. The bike was spun around right now. Look at that, dude. I hope my damn hand's not sprained, dude. You can see right here, when I come off this little ridge, tire caught here, dug in, tire's completely flat at that point, and then I just freaking face first into here. And like I said, thankfully, I was wearing a damn helmet and knee pads and elbow pads. Oh, there's my watch, dude. <laughs> You look great, Dad. I think we're at 5,200 on that one. Wolf Tick Nation. What did you think about that opener? What did you think about that opener? The damn crash. My crash. Most of the time, I'm prepared to crash. You know, mm -hmm. I can see it happening. Yeah, Mr. 22 years of jiu-jitsu. And that right there, I was not prepared. Mm -hmm. Whoosh, bam! You know, freaking crap. But I'm good. The bike's good. Well, hydraulic The bike's hose. not good. Something's up with the Axum DP. I don't know. It's bad luck. Uh, something is up with that it. Hopefully, a red bike, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully, doing some work to it today, we're going to, um, you know, put it up to that next level where you know, some I'll people, be okay on it. You know, some people won't drive a red car. Let's go no. talk about the upgrades that we're going to be doing to the Axum today on the installs. Berserker! Nick sent us some Maroka M4 four piston hydraulic brakes, and I'm hoping that these puppies are going to stop this Axum uh, in its tracks. I'm going to start by protesting right now if we're pulling those apart well you can protest all you want but i got a new tool there i'm dying to use and we thought you know what this is a perfect time you guys saw the opener why don't we upgrade this right in now, all fairness you're riding down a black diamond trail like yeah, a kamikaze like a kamikaze you know and then you wreck and you mess stuff up so it was like well you might as well just go ahead and put different stuff on it what are you doing there there's more now you guys all know that the Axon DP from the factory stock, basically it comes with a 180 front rotor and a 160 in the rear. And that's something that kind of makes this bike set apart from some of the other ones. But those are still stock rotors on there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Chris, the shed, our buddy, um, the mathematician himself, sent us <laughs> a 203 millimeter rotor this is a snail look at this damn thing now it's a floating rotor we've got the rivet action here i've been wanting some of these for a very long time because i love the look don't worry it's floating to me oh it's floating I've been wanting one of these for a very long time, but uh, they're just a little more expensive than I was wanting to spend. So Chris H, The Shed. Guys, go check his channel out. Thank you so much for sending us the 203 for the front and the 180 for the I rear. Still, I still, every time one of mm. those videos comes out, I'm always hoping I'm always hoping for a few things. One is a trip to the whiteboard. Yeah, there's always going to be a trip to the whiteboard. And the other thing, I'm always, I'm always hoping there's going to be an appearance by Tracy or something like that. Yeah, it's always know? a good time over there at The Shed. Yeah. Now, there's more. This here was sent to us by V Motsup, our boy. And this was sent to us a while is that, back. Is that what we call him, V Motsup? It's V Motsup, yeah. Doing OG. V Motsup has been around. Yeah, that is a time. chain guide. And this chain has been constantly falling off. It's just been falling off like crazy. So we're really hoping that what old V Motsup sent us is going to kind of fix a problem. Also, we're going to be doing some coffee shout outs. We're going to mix it up a little bit for but you wait, guys. wait, there's more. There's more. Now, instead of doing a little separate action here and there, uh, we're action. going to uh, just kind of throw it in when we're working on the bike you know and just show a little bit of appreciation to those guys that uh, go out of their way and spend some money on us and um, you know help us with all the content and send the stuff and everything else man yeah but, we, uh, we, we appreciate it so much there's no way we, i mean we really can't express how much we appreciate yeah, it. it's just it's awesome what the hell you got going here well i took the crank arm off and now we're fixing to uh, try and put this damn chain guide on here all right well i think when uh when old dayford who actually bought us 25 coffees good lord yes uh when he says keep your up i don't think he means literally your like you got going right down here 25 cups of coffee yes thank you so much david thank you you're and the we man will, we will always keep our up everybody that's gone out and bought a uh, t-shirt 
Next week, we're going to uh, start showing some of Are these we? shirts and giving yeah. some shout outs to all the merchandise purchasers. And Dayford, that's a big sum. So you guys are going to see him next week. <laughs> I don't know about all that. I've never installed one of these before. This is from old Vmot stuff, and appreciate you sending this. Yes. But it seems like a lot, you know? It's a lot. So, so we'll see how, hopefully it works a lot. I'm thinking it goes this way, like that. Does and it basically, go right there? it keeps your chain in line with the chain ring. We're having a bunch of problem with the chain just jumping right off of that sucker. It's not narrow wide, first Definitely of all. Definitely not narrow wide. It's an eight speed chain, so it's way wider than it needs to be. This right here, goes on the inside of uh, this bottom bracket portion. So let's go and start pulling this thing apart and seeing if we can maybe fit it up there. Okay, so definitely not the easiest of installs. It's still a little funky. There's a couple of things uh, right here where this little chain guide is. You can hear this, listen. It rubs a tiny bit on there, but that's a pretty thick amount of plastic. So I'm not against getting a little bit of sandpaper and sanding that down. And then also up here on this guide, tiny bit as well. So if anything, if I have to, I'll go ahead and like I said, I'll just kind of get a blade and sand that down just well, a little bit. it might be bit. worth it if it does its job though. If it does its, yeah, you're right. If it does its job, it just might be worth it. So kind of a mess. Let's see if we can uh, go ahead and loop this through now. And I'm just curious if our next, uh, Buy us a cup of coffee purchaser has ever experienced something like this. Berserker! Nick, have you ever been through something like this, man? I don't know. You're buying us, like, what was it, 10 cups of coffee this round? Thank you so much. And uh, I don't know if I wish this on you. <laughs> Thank you for all the support for all this time that you've yeah, helped man. our channel. Definitely. I mean, he's not even helping our channel. It's our channel now, it feels like. Like, yeah, it's our yeah, channel. Including him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's our channel, Berserker. But thank you so much for the coffees, man. All right, guys. Well, hell of a chore. Uh, man, I'm so glad we got it. I know that was a mess. It probably come across really damn bad. <laughs> I had to get my little mini Dremel. I ground out the top, ground out the bottom. And now, the only noise that you hear is that chain slightly rubbing on this bottom uh, chain wheel or whatever the hell you want to call it, chain guy or whatever. V mods up. Thank you so much for sending us, uh, sending this to us. I don't care, damn boys, that it sounds like a damn chainsaw. I'm gonna rock it, and golly, I just hope uh, I'm able to give you guys a very good break review if we ever get the things installed. We're about to jump to that next. Give you guys a good break review without having to stop every five seconds. I'm sure <laughs> e-bike Mike has never had to deal with anything like this. You don't think so? Not with his damn e-bikes. E-bike Mike, thank you so much for five the five coffees. cups of coffee, man. Five cups of coffee, e-bike Mike. Woo! I appreciate you, man. Thank Always in the comments thanks a bunch and uh let us know if you've ever had to use one of these on your e-bike i really hope not <laughs> all right guys let's jump to the brakes and the rotors all right let's talk about the rotors that chris h over at the shed sent us now, happy are, anniversary happy anniversary thank you happy 27. anniversary 27 years wow. wow that's a long damn time happy 27th anniversary now let's talk about these maroka M4 hydraulic brakes that Berserker Nick sent us. Now the thing with four piston brakes, the ones that we've got in the GT Aggressor Pro, the MT420s, they're stupid strong. I mean, they will put you over the bars. And what I like about these brakes is although they're Chinese, I think they're like $90, so it's more of a budget brake, but the four pistons all work. Now I don't know if you guys can see it, that adapter's in the way, but all four of them are actually working there. It's not like one side pressing into the other. So that's a good sign. They are bleedable. They have a little... Uh, bleed screw right there and as far as the levers go and i read a lot of questions about this there's no bite adjustment on these brakes but there is a throw adjustment right there a little bitty screw so um something on that lever now the big problem that we're going to have with these brakes like all of the chinese brand brakes this here is obviously the longer of the two here's the uh, shorter one this is for the rear but here in america we have the right on the rear and the left on the front everybody knows that so all you uk guys just calm down we have to mount this on the left side of the bar not the right because that's the left grip so basically we're going to be backwards but today we're going to swap them i've got some tools over swap there them. we're fixing to show you guys um, but before we get to swapping these brakes and uh, cutting these cables and everything are the lines but let's go ahead and install these snail rotors on these wheels guys and then we'll jump to the maroka uh four piston hydraulic brakes all right, gonna change this front one out first. And let me tell you guys something. This right here is the through axle to the X-Fusion Trace RC34. 
And uh, that's how you do a through axle. Not only does it do a little, uh, a little quick release style here with that lever, but we've also got the little screw in, and that's the fork that's on the axle, and I freaking love it. 15 millimeter through axle. And you know who else loves that through axle? Who? Oh. Glenn GL33N. Oh, Glenn. Three. Three, yes. three, three. three, 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 five cups of coffee. Glenn, thank you so much for yeah. uh, helping support the channel. Thank you, but how do you know if, he, if you know how he feels about that? Because in the coffee comments, he says, man, you guys got me to buy that Trace RC34. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah, so I had to Oh, he went with the yeah. Trace RC34. Glenn, thank you so much. And Good that's the choice. Best, best quick release ever, Glenn. All right, guys. Well, got these rotors on there. Look how nasty they look. I mean, those things are freaking huge. I love them. What do you think about them rotors, Dad? Uh, they look great, and hopefully they stop good. Do you think it'll stop as good as the GT now, with those brakes and those rotors? With the rotors? I don't know. We have the GT, we got the MT420s on there. Next cup of coffee, old Sean D. Turner, five cups of coffee. He's got himself a GT Aggressor Pro. I don't know if, uh, Sean, if you've gone with the four pistons yet, but Sean said, hey, you guys have inspired me to uh, start doing upgrades on the GT Aggressor Pro. And um, I have definitely gone way overboard as far as the budget goes. And uh, Sean, we completely understand. Yeah, completely understand. we know how that goes. Yeah, what kind of brakes are you rocking on that thing, Sean? All right, guys, uh, let's go. Thank you so much for the five cups of coffee. Yes, thank you, Sean. Appreciate it. All right, but uh, man, uh, those rotors just look freaking nasty. Let's go ahead and get these maracas on there, marocas on there. Let's put the adapters, and then uh, we're going to have to swap them. All right, guys, well, mounting a 180 millimeter rotor on the rear of a Schwinn Axum DP, they don't make it easy. Now, I do not recommend this, but the... Um, adapter that was sent to us was either the wrong adapter or just a frame design that's jacked on this bike. It just will not fit. So what I end up having to do is get a whole bunch of spacers. And I know this is like a really ghetto way. And this is a, a budget channel. You know what I mean? So I had to make it work. Uh, we want to install these freaking rotors. And I'm going to have to try and get a different type of mount or something. Or see if they make some different type of adapters if this doesn't work. But I mean, they're, they're working and check it out. It's nice and smooth. It's just the um, the damn mounts are so hard to get to when you have that big adapter. There's no way to get past this bar right here whenever you go to mount it right here on the back side and screw the caliper to. So I just had to get creative here. And um, I don't know. Tell me guys what you, tell me what you guys think in the comments. Have you had to do this to a bike before? And does it work for you? All right. Now, let's go ahead and mount that front one up. And then uh, we'll get to installing these guys and swapping them. All right, guys, so the good news is we got the rear and the front rotors and the adapter, at least on the front, installed. Everything went together somewhat okay. I'm a little <clears throat> wore out. Uh, unconscious Rider says, hey, uh, here's three cups of coffee. Go buy yourself some beers, you dirty <laughs> I'm not a drinker, Unconscious Rider, but I'll tell you what, I could really use a drink right now. I am uh, wore out on that rear rotor. Man, it was a lot. It's so tight back there, but... Anyway, Unconscious Rider, thank you so much for the three cups of coffee, man. And I'm glad you are, uh, you're here to watch this, hopefully. Now, this is what we're going to do. I'm cleaning my fingers the best I can. Uh, we are going to use my new tool here. Now, this tool here will set a barb, and it will cut some brake line. And it's supposed to do it really cleanly. And I'm really hoping, I've never used it before, I'm hoping that this goes pretty smooth. So, guys, what we're going to have to do... Now, we can mount these upside down, right? These are the levers here. The reason I don't want to mount them upside down is because the way it mounts here, it's not like it's centered like most of them are. This one here actually is offset, and I don't want to have to Have you tried to look it. at it upside down yet? Because I'm really, I just can't stress enough how much yeah. I'm against taking them apart. Because you go like that. Yeah, I, I've looked at it. I just don't like the placement the fingers are going to be because they're going to drop down. And you won't because you don't want me to see that it's possible to do? Well, we're going to do this. We're, gonna, we're getting see, ready for this. See what I mean? So, That's what I'm about. All right, we're doing this. Now, if you guys would like to either pick these up or any of the... Uh, rotors or anything like that you guys can go down to the affiliate links below we would appreciate it you guys can uh, get yourself some stuff we'll get a little bit of credit for it and you know who really likes to uh, buy us coffee and uh, likes to use our links who's that on their gt aggressor pro daniel carballo does he yeah daniel carballo you've been using our affiliate links we appreciate that not only that daniel yeah, we but do. appreciate the three cups of coffee man oh well, right now it's coming in handy it's getting late and we're getting tired. Oh, now down. that now that's yeah, now it's showing. No, I thought you wanted this high. All right, guys. So we're gonna get my little tool here. You guys can see this in the affiliate links as well. Okay. 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 
Okay, right there. Oh, uh, you want that snippet. from the floor? I don't want that. Hold that. Olive. We're going to set the olive over here. This is what all the cool kids are doing. Okay, we're going to squeeze it. Insert the barb. Okay, yeah, start coming down. Go up. Now we're going to press that puppy in there. Oh my god, I feel so professional. That is pretty cool. I feel so damn professional. I'm, I'm, I was overdoing <laughs> this with pliers and a hammer. Okay, stick her back in there. It's aluminum. You really want to be gentle with this kind of stuff, guys. Mm -hmm. And not use a big wrench. What you want to do is get it by feel. We got the squeeze on there. Um, you be bamboozled. Now, do uh, you use your brakes? What was the word? Intermittently. Intermittently? I don't know. You be bamboozled. Appreciate the one cup of coffee, man. Now, we've got front brakes. We've got rear brakes. Oh, man. These might be some good ones. I don't know, Berserker Nick. They might be some good ones, man. Well, guys, I'm going to finish this up. We're gonna just going to attach this little remote dropper. And uh, let me tell you something. Uh, all the cup of coffee purchasers, thank you guys so much. And we've also got Tolakazi. One cup of coffee. Tola Kazi. One cup of coffee. Appreciate Kazi, you, man. Kazi, Kazi. Kazi. Uh, whatever it is, thank you very much for helping support this channel. All the other coffee supporters, man, uh, we wouldn't be able to do this stuff without you guys mainly. So we really appreciate it. Uh, Chris H. The Shed. Go check his channel out. Berserker Nick. Again, check his channel out. Thank you so much, man, for supplying these breaks. And guys, make sure you tune in next week. Remember, we're going to be doing the Wolf Tick Videos merchandise shirts. We've got a few pictures, so make sure you guys don't miss that. And next week sometime, we're going to be doing the real-time review on these breaks. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good one, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Appreciate it. Please like, subscribe. Check out those notifications below. Fill it links below. Thank you. All right, guys. We'll see you Tuesday. Have a great weekend.